Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Swish, and today we're doing another Plan With Me video. Now, if you were here for the March Plan With Me, or if you've been on my Instagram, which is at Swish Creates, by the way, um, if you're not on my Instagram, make sure you follow me there because I update that every day. But anyway, so if you were here for the March theme, you know it was all crazy colourful and comic book and, you know, retro, bright colours, crazy loud shapes and things like that. Um, so this month I thought, you know, let's go to the other end of the spectrum and let's do something completely dark completely monotone. Without much further ado, if you'd like to see how this month's theme turns out, then let's do this. Before we jump in, I just quickly want to say that I didn't film every single spread because this video would have been an hour long if I did. But I did get close-up shots and good pictures of every single one, so don't worry, you're not going to miss out on much. So what you're seeing is a ton of masking tape. I wanted to use a lot of negative space this month, so I masked off the edges of these boxes so I could paint around them. As you'll see in a bit, this tape is really cheap and it acts like it, but we'll deal with that later. So like I said in the intro, this month we're doing a deep, underwater, super dark theme. And all of my other themes have been so painfully clean. This time I wanted to go a little more abstract and a dark inky black because that's the colour of my soul. <laughs> I started with a light wash of black and then dried that wash and layered on another slightly darker wash of black and that's really the trick to this faded diffused ink look is to layer darker and smaller washes of black on top of each other. Next, I blocked in some fish, including two goldfish, one koi fish, and a jellyfish. This month I'm feeling extra extra, so we even have a word of the month. Here's a close up. And here's another close-up of how I added details to the little fishy. Your girl has camera angles and everything.
Next, I set up my tracker. And I skipped recording this spread because this month I'm only tracking sleep and mood on my big monthly tracker. Everything else will be in my weeklies because honestly, I never use my trackers if they're in the big monthly table. So this spread is actually pretty simple and we can move on. My workflows and think tank spread this month is the most basic of them all because in this particular spread I really need a good amount of space but just painting it black felt a bit too simple because you know me and I'm extra extra today <laughs> so I added in some cool wavy lines with black and silver ink just to add some more interest to it. Another spread that I skipped filming was my YouTube content spread because again it's pretty basic but also the layout is similar to the next spread that I did film. But anyway here's a close up and the theme of this one is dolphins. Okay, on to a spread that I did film. My podcast planner this month gets a page of its own. Actually, all of my content gets its own spread because I realized that the main reason my content was subpar or it was not the quality I wanted to be putting out was because I wasn't putting enough thought into it. So this month, I want to really give myself the time and space to plan everything out properly and really give it my 100% that I know I'm capable of. So anyway, this spread gets a goldfish theme and my topic for the month is criticism on the podcast. More specifically, how to take criticism well and how to give good, useful critique. If you're interested, I do have a link to the podcast down in the description and you can go check that out if you like. The next spread I set up was one for my art Patreon. Yes, my art Patreon is currently down because about a month in I realised that I was still not creating stuff that I love. Basically, I started that page to hopefully get some support while I do what I love, but the whole point is lost if I'm not doing what I love to begin with. So now I'm overhauling my strategy. If you're interested in how it turns out, make sure you follow me on Instagram because that's where all of my daily updates are, especially in the stories. So yeah, this spread is jellyfish themed and here are some close-ups where I echoed some of those silvery wave things just to tie the theme together. Yikes, that sticky tape is so weirdly inconsistent with its degree of stickiness. Anyway, the next spread is my absolute favourite one of them all, my Instagram content plan. Again, I've been using the month of March to overhaul my content strategy, 
and my Instagram is no different. But the reason I love this spread so much is because of how pretty the koi fish turned out. I don't think I've ever painted these before, but honestly, I'm kind of addicted. Look at those highlights! But yeah, I made a three column table to echo Instagram's layout on like your feed. Plus, I left space for some brainstorming on the right hand page. And that brings us swiftly on to the final spread of this video, the first week of April. April is such a perfect month because it starts on a Monday. I don't know why, but that soothes me immensely. Do y'all get that feeling too? <laughs> Let me know in the comments because I hope I'm not the only one. It's such a weird thing to be in love with. Anyway, in terms of design, again, this spread is mostly about having enough space. So I painted in just a couple of goldfish and the rest of it is space to write in. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be tracking more urgent things like medication and exercise on a weekly basis because I do turn back to my weekly spread pretty much every day. So this way I can be sure to fill this little tracker out, even if I do forget to fill the big monthly tracker every few days or so. And with that said, let us now move on to the final flip through. I should probably mention that I did go back and repaint some bits and add some highlights after filming this video, so if you're interested in seeing the final form of each of these spreads, I'll be sharing them starting the 1st of April. So make sure you follow me on Instagram, my handle is at swishcreate on pretty much all social media actually. Yeah, so if you want to check that out, make sure you follow it. Okay, on to the flip through. And there you go guys, that is my April setup in my bullet journal. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. I know there wasn't a video last week and I do apologize for that, but life is crazy, I'm moving house, everything is changing, so please bear with me while we deal with, yeah, everything. <laughs> But anyway, I do hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have then please remember to leave me a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any future updates and future plan with me's from me. Um, hit that notification bell just in case you tend to miss things that you subscribe to and all that stuff so that's super helpful um, and come say hello on social media and yeah if you have any requests leave me a comment below I will make sure it happens because that's the kind of relationship we share <laughs> alrighty you guys thank you so much for spending some time with me today you know I love spending time with you and I will see you again next week bye